Jesus. You can't hide it. Whatsoever comes out of your mouth, what comes from your heart, comes out of your mouth. You speak it. And listen, ain't nobody perfect. We all speak negative from time to time. That's why we have to fight that thing. That's why we have to keep our tongue even under control, the Bible says. And our mind, whatsoever a man thinketh, that's what it becomes. If you're thinking fearful all the time, you're thinking, I'm going to lose this, going to do that, going to do that. You know, whether it happens or not. Because sometimes it does. You've got to be willing and able to handle it. You've heard me say it before. I'm going to say it again because I think it's the proper place to put this. But it's just come to my mind. When our house was burning down on New Year's Day years ago, about nine, ten years ago now, it's hard to believe it's been that long, but there it was. New Year's Day, we're supposed to be celebrating the New Year. Came in beautiful. House caught on fire. We're all standing out in freezing weather, out in the lawn, watching, watching the fire people try to put out the fire. And I was upset. And I was broken and I was hurting for a moment. I said, man, I was, I, then I took my mind started, well, I hope we have insurance. I don't even know if we have good insurance, you know. Oh, boy, where are we going to live now? You know, what are we going to do here? We're, for about five minutes that went on. Then I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit like that. Do you love me? You know I love you, Lord. Do you trust me? You know I trust you. And don't fear nothing. And they gave me Romans 8, 28. That's why I quote it so often. It'll work for anybody that works it and believes it. For all things, even this fire, work together for your good and my glory. Because I've called you and have a purpose and a plan for your life. My mind, my attitude changed. I almost caught myself saying, burn, baby, burn. I don't care. Let it go down to the ground. I just got a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. I can care less. He's going to give me something bigger and better. That's the attitude you got to have. Now he dropped that, that word in my heart because I'm his servant, I'm faithful, I love him, I'm servant, and he knew I would believe him. I would believe him. And let me tell you something. We didn't know nothing from nothing. I told the pastor, we got good insurance or not? <laughs> she said, I got to check it. <laughs> she didn't even know. Who, who expects a fire? You know? And she's, <laughs> can, I tell, can I tell on her? She's running, they told us, don't go in the house. It's here burning, the flames, the, 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 the uh, siding was melting off the wall the outside. And she's running in the back of the house getting her albums. <laughs> One of the pictures of the family. And a couple others, she comes out like this. And they're hollering at her, what are you doing in there? What are you doing there? You know. <laughs> and that part of the house never even got touched. Uh, she could have waited. But that's a mommy, that's a woman for him. They go have child's with babies. Amen. But here, here's what I'm saying. Terrible things happen. To try to put fear in your heart. But when you dare to believe God, when you dare to trust Him, you say, I don't care, Lord, I'm, you got this. You will take care of us. And we come to find out we had better insurance than we thought. Amen. They put us up in a beautiful home Amen. for eight months while they built ours. Amen? And we found favor, not just with God, but with the, the builders. They said, if you'll go with us, we'll make you a house you won't believe. Amen. And my wife went... <laughs> <laughs> because she's been watching, I didn't know, but she was watching those house shows, you know, where you can design your own house. She already had it made. She had a blueprint, man. In her mind. God must say, all right, babe, it's time for you to get a new house. <laughs> But not only did we get a new house, and every, but all the furniture was new. Amen. And they allowed us, when you know they just throw it away, they allowed us to give all the old furniture that wasn't destroyed away. That, that table in there, the dining room in the church, that came from the house. Wow. Fourteen yeah. seats. Amen. 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 And then there's this, you know, we, we had a ball, man. I mean, we <laughs> went shopping for eight months. <laughs> I'm telling you. We went and ordered this, we ordered that. We had a ball, it was like a blank check. You talk about God being good. Can I get an amen from yeah. somebody? Yeah. We didn't know all that was going to happen. It's your attitude. It was the attitude. The attitude. We got a bed we could never afford. You know, we got all kinds of stuff. 
That's just how God works. That's right. Don't give in to your fears. Amen. Give in to your faith. Amen. 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 God will honor God honors faith, not That's fear. Right. That's right. Yes. Yes. Fear cripples. Yes. Amen. So whatever it is or whatever, you gotta get that old well file out. Uh -huh. Anybody got an old well file? <laughs> It means when you can't handle something, you oh, well. <laughs> we got two of them. We're ready to have the third one. Oh, well. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll drive yourself nuts. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. I got to turn the page. I got to move on. I'm only half done. My God, I got a couple more minutes left. <laughs> I love when the Lord takes over, don't you? But isn't it a terrible thing for people to sit in the church? A church that believes God, sitting under the Word of God, sitting under anointing, and they're still lost, that's a terrible thing. Yes. 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 Terrible thing. Sitting there, not believing a word of it. We've seen that happen. Because things didn't go their way. And they've allowed fear or confusion or a lie to chase them out of the presence of Almighty God. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. My God. Yes, so listen, faith will not work mm -hmm. if you're fearful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Faith only works when you're faithful and believe it. Amen? Amen? But fear will not listen when you try to rebuke the winds and the storms of your life. Fear won't listen. Fear won't obey you when you try to rebuke the devil. You can't cast out devils if you're fearful. Amen. You can't claim miracles if you're fearful That's right. and doubtful. Yes. But oh my God, when you're faithful and you put your faith into action, Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord. Things happen. You're more than able. He said you're more than a conqueror yes. through Christ that strengthens you. It's all about what you believe. Do you, when you're fearful, that's the time to sit down and read the word more, not less. Amen. That's the time to go pray more. See, but the devil gets you so bound up, you're so wrapped up in your fears, your anxieties, your worries about all these different things, all these different attacks that, that you, you ignore the very thing that can set you free. That's right. You ignore the very thing that can, that can get you through your hard times. Yes. Yes. That's another trick of the devil. Mm -hmm. That's the time to run to the Lord. That's the time to run to the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Whew. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. But on the other hand, now again, faith will make you more, more than a conqueror. Yes. Through Christ. The storm and the winds will obey faith. They have to. Now, please, hope, maybe, no, in the name of Jesus, yes. you will calm down in my life. Mm -hmm. How often do you have to pray it? Until it calms down. That's right. Amen. That's right. I said until it calms down. That's right. That's right. People breaking chains in prayer. Bev breaks chains every day in prayer. Yes. Great prayer warrior. I walk in her bedroom and she's praying and breaking down and tearing down strongholds in people's lives, in every one of your lives, in her family's lives. Yes. But even for miracles, for you, that's what you need to do. Tear down them strongholds, as the Bible says. Amen? Amen. Why? Because greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. Can I get a witness? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. i got to close it up. Let me give you a couple of scriptures that will hopefully encourage you. Amen? Amen. Ooh, because we don't want fear to cripple you. Everybody in the Bible faced fear. Yes. David faced fear, but he never gave in to his fears. We all face fears. Mm -hmm. It's a choice we made. It's a crossroad. Do I give in to it and lose out on God's best? Do I give in to it and come up short? Do I give in to my fears and, 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 and baby this sickness instead of fighting it? Do I give in to this fear of finances and stay broke? Or do I loose my fear if, and, 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 and cling to my faith? Like, like we're going to read here, David, in Psalms 27.1. The Lord is the light of my salvation. 
Whom shall I fear? Who do you who, who shall we fear? We don't have to fear anybody. The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid of? Nobody. Tell me who. Who should we fear? Who should we be afraid of? But fear itself. Psalms 34, 4. David knew about fear. He said, I sought the Lord, listen, and he heard me. Hmm. And delivered me from all my fears. Some of us need to be delivered from our fears. Those things that try to torment you. Those things that try to get their claws in you. That's fear. Those things that you're worried about right now. He said he delivered me. You need to be delivered. Yeah. Not that you got demons, but you got fear. The devil's trying to attach to you. You need to be delivered just like David was from all your fears. Not some. Stand with me as we begin to close. Stay focused for a moment. Jesus said in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you. He left His peace. Yes. He said, My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. That's a promise from God. He left that behind. <laughs> Jesus left that behind for every believer. Yes. And He's not respecter of persons. He's just looking to see faith. Jesus. Even if it's just a little bit. Yes, Lord. The size of a grain of mustard seed. It's enough. Amen. Amen. And then it grows from there. That's why I said you got to starve your fears and feed your faith. Yes. Hallelujah. We all need to hear this. Every one of us. Because there's fears without and fears within. In closing, 2 Timothy 1.7 for God has not given us the spirit. It's a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Yes. Sound mind. Remember we talked about the mind earlier. The battle's in the mind. Yes. He gave you power over that fear. And He gives you His love to combat that fear. Right. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. So stop letting the devil intimidate you and lie to you and defeat you. But rather, yield yourself to the Holy Spirit and become fearless. Amen. Uncompromising, bold in the Lord, unmovable, unshaken by the power of God. So today in closing, if you're fearful, if you're fighting fear, it's not the fear only, but it's more of unbelief that can keep you from getting your blessing. We all face fears, is what I'm saying. Yes. But you don't have to let fear cling to you. Right. You, have to let it, you have to rebuke that fear, resist that fear, and you'll overcome that fear. Jesus. But if you entertain that fear, you flirt with that fear, then it starts to overpower you. And then it overcomes you instead of you being an overcomer. So we need to pray two prayers today. One for salvation, in case there's someone watching by internet, you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're full of fear. But fear can vanish when you accept Christ. And He'll build your heart with faith. And then there's others that are maybe Christians and you're fighting fears. It's maybe something said and done today in this message help you to realize who you are in Christ Jesus. And you'll be able to overcome the fear instead of the fear overcoming you. Let's pray this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I'm coming in the name of Jesus. I'm coming in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, I ask you, Lord, forgive all my sins. Forgive all my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Save my soul. Save my soul. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for hearing Lord. and answering my, and prayer. my prayer. Now, Lord, now, Lord, I rebuke, I rebuke in your name, in your name all, fear, all fear, all anxiety, all anxiety all the lies of the devil. All all lies in, the in the name of Jesus, I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more I'm specially made I'm specially in the made. image of God and going to be used, for, be his used for His glory. Take away all fear, Lord. All Replace fear. it with faith Replace it as, with I faith. as I promise to read Your Word to read your and to be faithful and to be in, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, praise Him.